Kidderxy's here, and today we are playing one of the games that being transferred. I don't know when, but it's here. It's Red Dead Redemption. And um, gotta say this is gonna be one of the games I played as well than Left 4 Dead and that, especially Undead, Red Dead Redemption Undead. So in this, you can go in multiplayer, which you click X for, uh, Y, which is downloadable content, which I don't have, and A, it's for single player. So let's get into this. So we're already starting into the actual story. And when this was coming out, I was so excited because I love playing zombies, and here we go. I forgot how the story goes and which order it is. John Marston has ripped I better say quiet. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him as he drives home one evening. Spooky. <laughs> Guys, have you ever done that voice? It's awesome. Rockstar Games presents. A Rockstar San. I couldn't read that fast. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption on Dead Nightmare. Woo! Sorry if I'm being too loud, guys. Sorry if I'm being too loud, guys. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his half pollutant ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Is that better? Your lord. Much better, mother dearest. Good. I'm glad, my darling. When you finish your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside, begging old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot, well, think of kindly and please will you, my son? I'll try to, mother. I'll think that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh. <laughs> now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense in. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs going crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just a storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you, drinking in the fields. I mean, working, as you call it now. Oh, oh God. Uh, town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer. Sob. No matter. Not up. I'm settling up. Well, up in some place of ill repute, waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Creepy. Take care of yourself. I know. Just a funny feeling. <laughs> Either that or I ate something funny. No one knew you were cooking. Seems more than likely. Hmm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I'm starving. <laughs> Monsters. Monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <sighs> that should suit me just, just fine. Well, it's all so about in ancient, ancient times how Aztec, Aztec warriors, warriors worshipped the sun, but during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. 
and upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, what it involves is there's this one guy. Is this gonna be an emotional thing now? Him all alone. So, anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. It's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure. But he'll have to wait till morning, just like any other man would in his shoes. Night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. <laughs> We're just gonna stare at the moon? Oh, never mind. You okay, old man? You don't look so good. I think we're playing now. I think I remember I have to play this part. She's spitting. I can't believe you went and killed that poor bastard. I... Well, you okay, darling? You okay? It's a zombie apocalypse. You need to. Oh, here we go. We gotta turn them up. I remember this part. parts are really easy. I think I remember the rest of them was just hard. And of course he gets meat. Out of people. I'll be back as soon as I can. 
Sorry if I'm staying quiet for the cutscenes. I just love watching the cutscenes. So there we go. Die. <laughs> Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. All right, should I have horse? Okay, where is it? There it is. So this is actually the start of the game where you can do free roam and stuff. But I prefer just getting on with the, um... With the, um, uh, missions. Um, because as I said before in, in some other videos, I think I mentioned that I'm always kind of busy in that. So, yeah. Uh, Let's go to Blackwater. So the, the first thing is to find a doctor. But of course doctors can't help with infections. And oh god. Yeah. Looks like people left here in a hurry. So you don't have a horse anymore because it's gonna be Zombies. I think. If you hear my buttons, I'm sorry. If you hear my buttons, I'm sorry. Because of this certain like, and of course, um, the thing e echoes as well. And oh, hey! Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Let's out. I'm a man of science, a man of great learning, a thinking, a wise man, and I'm not with you, sir. I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> what is that then? What should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure, or fight to the death trying. Well, I'm not great at all, but, uh, but I, uh, just be cheap. I make sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I was thinking more that, uh, Finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of dogs before writing a paper on the events from the group to my study. And, uh, I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. I'm going to search the back street for survivors. <laughs> Perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to... Wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my back. Wait, wait. You should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's worth dead. I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. You remember him? Uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. Dead. <laughs> Called it. Oh, I forgot that the blood goes on the screen as well. Save them. Let's just save them. There we go. Let's do that. Because of course, okay. There's actually more than I think. Let's see if I can punch him. Oh, I cannot because I've easy die. That's one thing I want to show you because you cannot just punch a zombie in real life because it will easy kill you. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? Come on. 
Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't buy. Bad joke. I mean, come out. They come out, family, mister. And mine, I fear. I saw my mama rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. And they were happily married 20 years. I'm sorry. Mama was dead? I saw her walk around in the porn. And boom! She ate my daddy! You weren't... You weren't a bad man, mister. You weren't... Sure, he liked to drink, but, but you weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women, but you weren't bad, mister, you weren't. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. You mean I use this? Hey? Did when you spoke at her place, your mother have been and everything. And when my mom was dying, people said that she was lying with her sister. But that weren't true, Mr. It weren't. But you said your mother was dead. Yeah, her and Mr. Braithwaite. He was in here. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals! All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. The funny thing is salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery, over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? No, I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. I miss her! You see my uncle Mordecai? Burn him! Burn him! Feel good, you hear? Okay, so now we got a torch. Which will easily burn them. But yet again, it'd be hard to aim at them. They were still managed to attack you, but they were burned to death. So it's a lot easier, a bit, I guess. But there's like a few ways to kill zombies. But in this, they were saying about drinking blood. So they're probably thinking about vampires or something. And I call them undead. That's quite weird, really. Let's just go up here to go to our objective. I could shoot them in the face, but that will take all of my, my ammo. Uh, okay, let's go through this gate. This is quite like the uh, mode in multiplayer that I used to play, but with these coffins. You will get stuff out of it. You will get stuff out of it. But you don't. You just have to burn them. Hey buddy! Hey buddy! Right, let's get moving so he can burn to death. And her. So we got burned coffins. I forgot about this. Just burn them all. Oh, I forgot you have to be on the side real quick. 
It will spawn all the mo more all of them in, but you have to like burn them. He's a big guy as well, that's gonna be difficult. Because he charged right at you. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. I think you would get an achievement like clear all the graves. Is our alive horse? Let's get going. these survivors and you gotta help them you gotta leave some waves that was two kills they're killing them horse get out of here there we go Keep on killing them. Um, so you would get this around um, every town in this. So that's. Sorry, I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? It's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border, or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. I pay my taxes. Usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, I got fleshy monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. Oh, what has the world of my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Toreen. Not this again. <laughs> Your daddy was a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man! Listen, I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscence. Is there anything I can do to help? 
You got any idea of how we can survive? You could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. I'm just gonna walk away. Alright, let's go over here. Another cutscene. There we go. You one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Don't come no closer. We made that mistake before, lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them! No, I ain't! Take no chance of silence. Have it your way, all right? Listen, I ain't coming no closer. You know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with the glass eye, he caused this. No, 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 it's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. Right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's the moon. Some say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now. Stay back. Apparently, it's worse than New Orleans. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Oh, Connie McTavish, you don't know enough. You always want the ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad. <laughs> well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers who've still been escaped. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash. Yeah, and how are we going to rebuild America like this? See, I thought we had it all decided. We was going to be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America, and good luck. Bye. We didn't have that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be me. You can't even read. Well, I, I got gravity. Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay off. Huh? So there's a lot of things to go. Let's check the map. Right, we got a mystery over there. We got. Is that D or something? I can't see. We got num letter D. And we got that one there. So we got two people to go to. So first, let's go to this mystery. Oh, oh God! Wait, that dude's got no head. What the hell? How's 
because I kill him without no head. I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but no Sasquatch running around here, nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. Down in Manzanita the Post, they ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Kill them. Kill the bastards before they kill all of us. Kill him! Kill him! I ain't afraid of you, you dumb hairy bastard! Time? Of course! War horse. Of course. War horse. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this. Oh Ages ago, I got this if, to see if, if I could get on multiplayer. I don't know if it was a glitch or a hack or something like that. But yeah, if you click back, you can get certificates for each horse. And of course, your kits and your items. But with this horse, I think it's got. It's faster. And I think it's supposed to be the actual war horse from the film. But this is so cool. I forgot about this. I actually didn't know it will transfer over here. So there's one of them over here, and we got the war horse, which is easy, and it should be. There's two left. And there's one mystery over here, which is... This mystery. Creature of the night. Plenty of peace. Why is that? Keep you from making more babies? In the name of all that's right, what are you talking about? Human. You eat babies. You have to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. But we did it. Now none of us are left. Maniacs can murder us. I'm the last of my kind. We've 
Sorry for him. You know what? You know what? You know what, mate? You know what? I'm gonna sit next to you. And this is where I'm gonna end it here. This river looks nice. Alright, um, sorry. Um, sorry if I uh, stopped for a few minutes now. So, um, yeah, this is the end of the video. Give it a like, and you come across this, and you like the videos, subscribe. See you next one. Can I actually see? Here's out.